the South Carolina Department of Education, in partnership with ETV, presents the South Carolina African American History Calendar. Coach Oliver Buddy Pugh from Orangeburg, South Carolina, can easily be regarded as one of the state's most venerable football coaches. Before taking the reins as head coach of the South Carolina State University Bulldogs, Pugh led Fairfield Central High School to an astounding 15-0 record in 1996. Later, Pugh served as an assistant coach under coach Lou Holtz at the University of South Carolina. During his time at Carolina, Pugh helped mold the Gamecocks into one of the top offensive teams in the Southeastern Conference. I got a chance to uh, become an assistant coach at South Carolina in a way that, you know, I'm still not quite sure exactly how it all came together. But uh, because I had had a good bit of success as a high school coach in the area, and we had a lot of good players, um, we had, uh, you know, a great reputation for having, you know, done a good job at the high school level. And then I had been a college coach previous to the experience at, uh, at South Carolina as an assistant at South Carolina State. So it wasn't just my first college job coming here to be an assistant at South Carolina that, you know, that kind of gave people the indication that I might be, you know, able to handle this particular kind of situation. So, uh, you know, I, I, I go to, to uh, uh, coach in, in high school here at Keenan High School. You know, that worked out really well for us. You know, we had some good teams there. We went to like, the state semifinals a time or two at Keenan. And then I go to Fairfield and then we win a state championship there. And then from there, you know, then I, I've got the recognition that, you know, the, the name recognition that people think, you know what, this guy might be a good, you know, choice for a college assistant that way. So, and it's not so unusual. Coach Bentley here now, you know, who's on the staff of Coach Muschamp was an ex high school head coach and it happens from time to time. So you see that happen around the country. Coach Pugh's first decade as South Carolina State University's head coach is exemplified by 10 straight winning seasons. Today, Coach Pugh is now in his 18th season. During his stupendous career, Pugh has compiled an overall record of 120 to 64 and a 94 to 33 in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. Coach Buddy Pugh is set to become the all-time winningest coach in school history, surpassing Coach Willie E. Jeffries. Well, uh, it, it feels good to have had the successes that we have had, and when I say the successes that way, it's, it's a, a big group of people that have been involved. Um, all of the assistants, all of the different players, you know, we've got guys that play for me now almost 20 years ago that, you know, I feel really strongly about. And you think about all the different people that are involved, the different coaches and the administrators, you know, the presidents that we've had, you know, that gave us the opportunities to, you know, to have these chances to win these games and to, to have the success that we've had. So it's just a kind of a big blur at this point of all the different things, all the different ingredients that go into it. Uh, you better bet that it didn't happen by me alone. Uh, it was a big uh, a cooperation of people who actually worked together to make this thing come to where it is today. For success in life, Coach Buddy Pugh firmly believes in fairness, hard work, and consistency. But most importantly, Coach Pugh believes one should find joy in whatever career path one chooses to pursue. The, the one piece of advice I give uh, young folk all the time is to work as hard as you can and make sure it's something that you really want to do. Uh, Football is a hard game. Athletics in general, competition in general, you know, is hard. And when somebody else is trying just as hard to defeat you as you are trying to defeat him, you know, it causes for some pretty tough conflict. So when you go against somebody that way, you better pretty much know that this is something you really want to do. So find the joy in what you're doing that way. And if you can, then it gives you just that much more inspiration to really work hard at it. But when you're working hard at something you really don't like, then it doesn't really ever come together. So you, know, you got to make sure that you understand exactly what you're wanting to do 
and how much you love it. Learn more about the South Carolina African American Calendar's current and past honorees at www.scafricanamerican.com.